Well, if you watch many of my videos, you might recognize this spot here in a different vehicle. Let me know if you know what this spot is, is famous for in my videos. But today, we're gonna take this vehicle and we're gonna go drive around the reservoir area and show you what all is here. So let's get after it. We're starting a little bit differently this time. We're cutting straight to the drive-in, so I'm kind of just, we'll, we'll do the intro here, but we're starting here in the Shaggy's parking lot, uh, right here coming up to Spillway Road. We turn right and go over to Ridgeland, and we're gonna turn left, you know, heading back into the Rankin County side of the Res area. And, and y'all make sure that you stick around, or even if you want to, you can skip, I don't care. Uh, it's a pretty long video, but just stick around for the end of the video. I've got a nice little bonus for you if you wanna see some new construction, a new construction neighborhood that you can't just go find on Google. I'm gonna go through there towards the end. Uh, and then also got a nice, beautiful scenic view coming across Peelahatchee Bay for you. But just in case you don't already know, my name is Jared. This is the Living in Jackson channel where we will show you around and give you information all about the Jackson Metro. So if you wanna see stuff like that, make sure that you do subscribe and click the bell and you get notified when the videos come out. And of course, if you are somebody who is thinking about moving to the area or even within the area, well, you just gotta take that one step further out to us give us a call text email you can dm us however you need to get in touch with us uh, just as long as you do it because we've got your back moving here to the jackson metro area uh, anywhere in to or from we can do it all we can handle it all we can help you out whichever way we're going but we're turning on to uh, old fannin road here we just turned right here so you can see we got a lot of things here gas stations around here mcdonald's back there some fast food uh, gas stations kroger was also back there on the left we're gonna make a loop here today we're gonna go down here a little bit uh, and, and I want to come just just take you a little bit down Old Fannin Road. Now this would take you all the way into Floatwood. Uh, so if you kept on going here, this would actually this is the road that intersects with Highway 25, uh, where the Dogwood Shopping Center is, all the way down there. Um, so you got Dogwood Market Street, all that we've talked about before on these channels, uh, with all the videos we've done about Floatwood. So uh, if you're interested in Floatwood, check those out. But we're going south on. Old Fannin Road here. We're gonna go all the way down to uh, a neat little farmer's market. And so you can see here on the way there, we've got several neighborhoods. You got Barnet Bend uh, and several other neighborhoods, Oak Grove and, and some more on the right here. Uh, on the other side over there, we passed Avalon with a nice brick entryway back there. Uh, so there's several. One we won't quite make it up to up here is Farmington Station. Uh, that'll be just around that corner up there on the left. We're gonna turn in here to the Cockrell's Farmer's Market uh, just to give you a view here, nice uh, local business here, all kinds of uh, well, everything you get at farmer's market. They've got all the you know, decor out there, yard, yard decorations, they've got lots of plants, flowers. Uh, of course, they've got, you know, uh, locally grown vegetables, everything over there. Uh, there's pretty much anything you can think of, they've got it over there uh, for you to go buy. It's all local. It's a really, really great, nice, you know. You can't beat the quality of something that was grown right here in Mississippi. You don't have to go far for it. You didn't have to get shipped here. You didn't have to get frozen. None of that. It's all right there. Uh, so good place to check out there, right there next to the old Fannin Autoplex. So if you're looking for a uh, used car, you've got it right there too. But we're going to head back on up north uh, again on old Fannin Road here. Uh, you can see there's a lot of neighborhoods here. Over on the left side, you're going to find stuff a little bit more... Uh, I guess I'd say affordable on the right. It's not unaffordable by any means. Uh, you know, you, you'll have more in the Barnett Bend neighborhood, more like a two-bedroom home uh, in the $150,000 range now, $150,000, $160,000, uh, whereas Avalon and back there in Farmington Station, you're getting up to around $200,000 to $250,000, uh, a little higher in some instances, depending on, on the house. Uh, but here you go. You've got a lot of, of the local businesses. Uh, as well as some franchises here that are in this reservoir, the res area. Uh, it was my favorite car wash I used right there is Go Shine. Uh, they've got the membership you can sign up for and you just go up there anytime you want to and get a car wash right there on the left. You just caught it. That was Tappers or Toppers. <laughs> I'm not even sure what the name is. It's one of those new uh, liquor stores I mentioned in the last video. Uh, we, we now have liquor stores at the reservoir. We also got Fannin Lanes up there, which is the bowling alley that we've had here for a long time. Uh, and, and lots of great little local businesses, restaurants, places to hang out here. There's black axes if you want to come throw axes. Uh, I will just tell you here at this parking lot, uh, be careful 
Um, like the video if you think they should repave the parking lot. Look at this. I don't know what this is. I don't know why it's so bad, but they have not done anything about it. They, they spread some gravel out every now and then. Um, and I'm up here a lot. My gym that I like to go to right there is Cut and Dry. It's a new local gym. I mentioned the other day Willie B Steakhouse. Uh, there it is right there. So uh, yeah, yeah, there's the great food and there's the gym. So <laughs> you see the struggle that we have here in Mississippi. Um, but let's uh, let's see if we can make it out of this parking lot. Uh, hopefully they're going to fix this soon. But we just know, get past the parking lot, watch where you're going, drive safe. There's a lot of great businesses there. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm up there all the time. Right here on the left, as we're coming out here, you do have uh, Chillin' on the Res. You get a New Orleans Snowball there. Uh, you've also got Super Shakes a little bit farther down with a wacky, waving, inflatable, arm failing two man. Go check them out. Uh, they're always good. And it's healthy. Uh, you can see some good, a good healthy protein shake there. They can add vitamins. They can add caffeine. That's what I usually add is the caffeine. Uh, but you can add all that stuff there. They got a lot of good flavors. Um, so, And they've got several locations of uh, super shakes around the area. We're going to get on back down a spillway road. Now this is kind of where we started. If we go back the other way, that would take us back on across the spillway. But we're going uh, east this time instead of west. And uh, so yeah, you see here, we, we passed kind of the Kroger there. Where there's uh, the Baptist Clinic. We're going to head on down this way. And you'll see we've got that trail running along the road over there on the side. That will run a parallel to this road and, and pretty much this whole loop we're going to make here uh, around Pelahatchee Bay. It, it takes some different forms. You know, it has to cross the road and really it's kind of just a bike lane in some areas. But it does go all the way around uh, and back to where we were and even across the spillway. Uh, it'll go down Hugh Ward, uh, which is the road we passed back there. It'll go down that way on into Flowood, uh, on over to the Winter Circle Park. So it's a really nice little trail, uh, multi-use trail system here uh, that you will see running for most of the length of this. So some of it, it runs back into the neighborhood over there, um, but, but it does run all the way around. It's really great if you like to ride a bike. Uh, it's one of the best places around here that you can ride. And you can start over here and ride all the way around. You know, you can go all the way around the reservoir. We're hitting red light here at Belgrove. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about Belgrove. It's a neighborhood where you're going to find houses that have typically, you know, historically been under about 150000 Here lately with the market being so crazy, they have come up a little bit. Um, you know, I've actually seen them listed up around 200000 I don't know if they'll appraise for that value, but that's what they've been listing around. Uh, some of those in there, some nicer ones. But in Belgrove and in a lot of the neighborhoods that over there on the left side, which would be the north side of Spillway Road, um, you are going to really have to pay attention and watch for foundation issues. Uh, it is a major uh, concern in this area. I say concern, it's just very common. That's just, it's, it's a very common thing you'll see in this area. Uh, so in some instances, you know, I've had uh, structural engineers tell me what I thought looked pretty rough, that it's okay. Uh, in other instances, it's not. So it's just something to be aware of. Uh, you want to watch out for if you're looking to buy a home over here. Now, you can get them. Like I said, they're pretty affordable there in Belk Grove and on the north side of Spillway Road. Uh, and then you're right here close to these trails. So you're, you know, right close to the water, right close to the trails. So, uh, you know, to get an affordable home next to all of this, you know, it's really not that bad of a trade-off. You just want to make sure that you don't buy something that you're going to have any major issues as you go. Uh, we're going to keep on making our way down here. This is going to run all the way up to 471. So we're kind of running parallel to Highway 25. If you've seen our videos, you know, Flow Wood kind of runs all the way up Highway 25 too. So we're kind of right on the edge of, but not inside Flow Wood uh, as we're running through here. A lot of this is, it, well, all of this is in Rankin County. Uh, you would have a Brandon address if you lived here. That's the 39047. Uh, Brandon, uh, if you saw my other video, the, this, the cool Brandon because it's by the reservoir, but it's not the real Brandon. It's not the city of Brandon. Uh, it's just the, the reservoir area or the res, uh, as we like to call it here. But we're coming on around here, and, and you can see you don't see that trail anymore. It's kind of snuck back around into those neighborhoods there. There's a little boat landing over there. Uh, some really kind of interesting houses right on the water. You can't quite see here because of the trees, but that path will come back around. It kind of goes through the woods over some little bridges. So uh, it's, it's a fun ride. I'm telling you, if you ride bikes very much, uh, get out there and check it out. Uh, it, it's definitely enjoyable. We're coming on around here, and, and like I said, we are in the, the Rankin County 
Brandon area, but interest, another, I guess I didn't sound really interesting, but another thing that you should know, a lot of the houses, if not just about all of them that are gonna be close to where we're driving uh, on this loop here, are gonna be in leasehold land. It's owned by the Pearl River Valley Water Supply District. So uh, you you basically, you buy the house and you lease the land and uh, yeah, they're not gonna do anything. They would have to buy you out uh, on the lease if they wanted to you know, come and develop it. But it's, tell you, it's probably never gonna be worth it unless some kind of crazy resource gets discovered that they need to get to over here. Um, and, and even then you've got uh, years and years on most of those, you know, Yes. Most of them have 60 years, 70 years, you know, left and they renew. So uh, it is a little different if it's not something that you're used to. It's kind of similar to 16th section land, if you're familiar with that. Uh, but you do have an annual lease payment uh, that gets, you know, if you if you buy with a mortgage, it gets added into your mortgage payment. So, you know, it may be three to four hundred dollars per year that gets added in. So 20 to 30 bucks, you know, somewhere in there, not too bad. Uh, but but again, just some more things that you should know about if you're looking to buy a house in this area. And of course, if you are working with us, we will make sure that you have all this information on any house that you are considering making your home uh, when you move here to the Jackson Metro. If you're looking at the res area here, um, and there are also uh, the, we, we have this, we do have the 16 section land as well, so it's all here too. Right there on the right, that's the Northwest Rankin Athletic Association baseball fields. If you got kids playing Little League out here, that's where they'll be. Uh, another gas station with a little restaurant over here. I'll admit I've never tried the restaurant. I've heard it's really good. Um, I just, for whatever reason, I've never found myself up here for lunch uh, when I'm close to that restaurant. So, But I've, I've heard great things. I have driven by when I'm not looking for somewhere to eat lunch and I've smelled that it smells really good, but I haven't had it. Uh, but you saw back there, you got places you can pull over parked fish, let you uh, get your boat out, um, well, you know, and a lot of great fishing spots all around the reservoir. Um, but anyway, this road, we're, we're still kind of, you know, Highway 25 kind of curved, so we're, we're still running parallel here, but we're gonna turn back. We're gonna head in the other direction. Now we're on the north side of Pelahatchee Bay, and you can see that trail over there. It's still following us on around here, so like I told you, it makes the loop all the way around uh, but right here at the at the end of this where I where I turned if I would have turned right I would have turned into Bay Point which uh, is a neighborhood and golf course there it's actually one of uh, two golf courses that we have here in the reservoir area you've got the Bay Point there you've also got Castle Woods so you've got two different golf course golf course choices uh, here in the reservoir area uh, and uh, we actually, you know, really basically right next to it, we've also got uh, the new one in Flowwood, the Refuge. The, well, the course has been there for a while, but they are, um, they just finished a major renovation there on the resort and the golf course itself. Uh, may get featured in a future video. I just got to talk to them and see what they want to do. Uh, but that is over there. So really, if you like to golf, you've got three different golf courses really right here in this area. Two technically in this, this res area, one of them's in Flowwood. Um, either way, lots of golf. It's not very far. And, and there's more beyond that. You know, the area has a lot. You've got Patrick Farms at the Jackson Country Club. You've got the Annandale Reunion, Lake Caroline, all these up in Madison, uh, the Canton Country Club. There's, there's a, if you want to golf, you can do it. You know, that's all I'm saying. But we're coming around here uh, on the north side of Pelahatchie Bay. Not a whole lot out here, as you can see uh, on this part of the drive. Uh, feel free to skip forward if you like. You can do that. I'm going to keep on riding with you all the way around here uh, as we come back around to uh, the neighborhoods that we're going to start seeing here in just a little bit. And I've got a little bonus for you. We're going to do a, a new construction neighborhood. I mentioned this earlier. Uh, this one that we're going to come up to, it's a North Shore. It's new construction. And we're going to turn into it right here. A lot of these are already built. They're still building some. Uh, and there's another side of this that we could access from a, a, the farther north here. We're not going to get to that today. But ultimately, it's all going to connect at a clubhouse and a pool. Uh, and so you'll have two, two sides of North Shore here, North Shore Landing over there. And uh, these here, you know, you'll see two-car, three-car garages. These are going to be a little bit more affordable, uh, kind of in the 350 range. Some of them up the upper threes, uh, maybe into the fours. 
Uh, on the other side, they maybe can start in the upper threes and go up from there to the fours and into the fives. Uh, depending on what you get, where you are, what kind of lot you got, how big the house is, all those factors. But, but really nice new construction homes here, as you can see. Uh, th this one is one that you can't see if you get on uh, Google and drive or, you know, go on the map view, the street view. You won't see this because it's probably not there yet. Uh, but you can see it here. Um, that's why I wanted to make sure and include this for you. This one is just, it's a its a brand new neighborhood. We uh, actually work with one of the builders in here and uh, we just passed a few of their homes there. Uh, that's a Shoemaker Homes. So a few back there, that one, white one there on the right, one directly in front of me there. All those Shoemaker Homes that Charles and I have worked on or worked with. And I can't believe there's a for sale by owner right there. So somebody must have had something come up and they had to leave. Uh, but. Yeah, I don't know why. The neighborhood's in a great location. You're right here by the reservoir. You're not on leasehold land here. So that's very important uh, to where they put this because it's right next to where it would be on leasehold land, but you're not in this neighborhood. But we're going to go ahead and get back out, uh, go back down here, and we're going to head on back across Pelahatchee Bay. We've got the Pelahatchee Bay Causeway up here, which is a great place. If you're driving across at sunset, it's just beautiful. So you'll see that here in just a minute. You got a few more uh, little neighborhoods. You got Bridgepoint up here in North Shore Village. Uh, all of those offering waterfront homes. Uh, and then uh, Bridgepoint also has a marina. So if you've got a boat, and even if you're not on the waterfront, you can have that. That'll be up here in just a minute. Uh, there's also the road that you could turn on to get to the north side of North Shore Landing that, can, that will connect to the neighborhood we just came out of. Uh, it's also how you get to the Palisades neighborhood. Uh, and uh, Arbor Landing, which are both, again, waterfront neighborhoods, very nice homes. Uh, there's also Marblehead, which kind of is on the inner side of the, the loop. If you go on that road right there to the right, um, and you can find some homes around 200,000 in that neighborhood, but they are on leasehold land, as are all of these neighborhoods that we're passing here, the North Shore Village, the Bridge Point. Uh, all of those in the leasehold land area. So it's something to think about. But here we are, we're coming across, we're about to complete our loop here pretty soon. And uh, this is the Pelahatchee Bay Causeway. Uh, so you can see here, great views. Even if it's not at sunset, you've got Pelahatchee Bay over there on the left and the main uh, big water of the reservoir there on the right. Uh, and they're connected. You can take a boat underneath the bridge up here and, and go back and forth between the two. Uh, we were having some issues for a little while where you could not do that uh, because of uh, what is it? it's like giant salvinia or something like that. <laughs> I remember the name of it but it's you know they, they were they were combating that so they weren't letting people pass between the two but i've seen boats doing it now uh, but you can get between the two over there you can go to the uh, the madison county side if you want to there's uh, restaurants over there and you can uh, rent a boat over there so if you don't have a boat you can go over there and rent a boat and bring it back over here if you like uh, whatever you want to do, you've got a park over here on the left on the Pelahatchee Bay side. Uh, we've also got some condos up here on the right. If you want to live on the water, maybe not spend so much. There is uh, one up here that was just for sale for around $160. Um, it's sold now. I don't know exactly what it sold for, but right there in that first building that you see on the right, there was one for sale just not too long ago. Uh, it's a two-bedroom right there on the water looking over it. Uh, on the sunset side too, so you get those nice sunset views if that's something you're looking for. There's also a lot of condos back in here that are not on the water uh, that you can get for a pretty affordable price. Some of them are bigger, so you may pay a little bit more, but you're getting a lot bigger place there. Uh, condos and duplexes back in there. Uh, and then, then more pretty affordable homes there on the left. So uh, the, the general point you've probably gotten so far is most of the homes here in the res area are pretty affordable. And right there on the right is the park I was at the other day. If you watched our other video, or if you go back and watch it, uh, that's the park there that you can go to right there on the reservoir. So you've got two. You have that one back on Pelagia Bay, and then you've got that one uh, right there. It's really nice. It's got a little beach swimming area. It's got the pavilions and the picnic tables and all that. Uh, and then there's that uh, RV park. So y'all, that that's pretty much it. There, you, we're back here again. We're coming up to where we started. That's Kroger there on the left. This is that intersection where we turned. We're on Old Fannin Road again. Uh, it's where we are. You see the McDonald's there. And then that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this one, y'all. I definitely appreciate you watching as always. If you liked it, like it. Hit that like button for us, and we appreciate it. And, of course, if you're thinking about moving here, you got to subscribe. Give us a call. 
email, you can DM us, whatever you got to do to get in touch with us, as long as you do it, because we got your back moving here to the Jackson Metro. Thank you for watching this one. See ya.